plot twist of the century. We're in the garage today, but it's not a bike video. Oh yeah. That's right everybody, it's a guitar video today in the garage because we're doing a little mod project today. As you can see, these have the black and cream bobbin open pickups. I mean, the black and white is pretty cool, but honestly I'd rather have them be both black or both white or cream. So I think for now, since I can't really change the colors on these, I think I'm gonna go to my second favorite option, which is the just having chrome pickup covers on it. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna throw on some chrome pickup covers and some very unique pickup rings that I actually had to do quite a bit of research to find so I just got back from Home Depot. I got a bunch of shit that I'll need for this project. Masking tape, breast augmentation fluid, solder, a soldering iron. And then let's see what's in these uh, packages. It's like bad unboxing, but somehow worse. It's like bad unboxing, but it's not funny. And the guy weighs like about a thousand pounds more than Ian does. Ugh, cunt. Whoa. Oh, it's wrapped. For a second, I was like, did they give me like this weird carbon fiber pickup cover? So when I first uh, got this guitar, I ordered pickup covers with it, but I ordered the Gibson ones and uh, they didn't fit. Um, so I ordered some that are supposed to fit. Very nice. All right, so fun little story about this endeavor. My plans for this guitar, I wanna make it look a lot more like a burst, like a 58 or a 59 or a 60. One of the main ways to do that is to get the tall historic spec pickup covers. I had a set of those pickup covers on my Les Paul Studio. I planned to just use those, but uh, I didn't think about standard versus metric. So when I went to go throw those on, they didn't fit like at all. For some reason, Epiphone's pickup covers are a lot longer than the Gibson's. So I ended up doing some research and I could always find Epiphone pickup covers, but they weren't that tall. And then I found this company on Amazon called Vintage Forge, and they were the closest thing. Like they had, they had a pickup ring that was a little bit taller, but not as tall as like the historic ones. At first, I was going to sell for that, but then looked to see if this Vintage Forge guys had an eBay or something else that they sell, like a reverb. And they had both a reverb and an eBay. And on the eBay, they had like just come out with these, which is like the taller, like historic spec pickup covers sized for Epiphone. So I was finally able to find some of those, and I. I'm really stoked they did because they're gonna look sick. I guess without further ado, we'll bust out the guitar and get it all ready for this meme. So on top of this little project that we're doing, I'm also gonna throw on some nine gauge strings onto this guitar. Normally I use 10s. All the guitar stores are like closed here. And uh, the only other set of strings I have to string this up with are nines. So we'll see what it sounds like with nines, I guess. really triggering my carpal tunnel and it doesn't feel great. Before we actually throw these boys on, let's actually make sure they fit. That is the bigger size. Okay, this back one fits. No, they sent me the same size of both of them. So the spacing on one of these pickup covers was supposed to be 50 mil, the other one was supposed to be 52. It looks like they're both 52, so, you know, fuck me. Ah, hold on, I have an idea. So here's the Gibson pickup covers, and it looks like one of them does fit. Cool, so we still should be able to do this. Once this is all done, we can also do a little comparison. We can see how much of a difference um, pickup rings and a different gauge string will really make in your tone. So I've got some sound samples of this guitar when it was strung up with tens and was uncovered, and then we'll see what it sounds like when this is all done. Sand the area where I'm gonna be soldering. So some people say to put silicone or wax over the slugs or right in the middle of the pickup. I'm gonna do it on both. Put a couple little globs. The British pickup is installed, or the covers are installed. Boys, now all we gotta do is go string her up. All right, so as you can see, we've put the beautiful pickup covers and pickup rings on, and I think it looks amazing. And now it's laced up with nine gauge strings. I had this in drop D for a sec. So while I fix that, here's what the guitar sounded like with uncovered pickups and um, 10 gauge strings. So here's that. <laughs>
Now here's what it sounds like with nine gauge strings and with the pickups covered. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you can hear it in the video. I'm sure you can. I made my bridge pickup a little microphonic. <laughs> Turns out I didn't seat the pickup into the cover fully so that there was still some space between the bobbin and the pickup cover and the, and the that the silicone didn't reach. So the cover was still vibrating around in there. So, so I messed up a little bit. Um, I could have fixed it pretty easily, but uh, instead I decided to do this. Check this out. To remind you of anybody so uh probably like a lot of you jimmy page is one of my biggest guitar heroes and i always loved how he left the neck pickup covered but the bridge pickup uncovered i always wanted to do that to one of my guitars i didn't know about doing it to this one just because it has the zebra pickups and i thought it might look a little weird you guys watch anderton's i was watching some of anderton's videos they have this little deal with the gibson custom shop where they'll do like inspired by so they have one where it's like inspired by peter green's guitar or inspired by slash or inspired by jimmy page like his number one and his number two and some of those were a lot like his number one and number two guitars but the uncovered pickup was a zebra pickup instead of just being black or just white i thought it looked a little weird at first but the the look very quickly grew on me and uh, i just decided to take off that pickup cover and not really fix it so now i've got a guitar with one pickup covered and one uncovered just like jimmy page and it kind of works because with this i'm not like directly copying jimmy page i'm just kind of like paying homage to what he did because this isn't like a fully black or a fully white pickup it's just the it's a zebra pickup it's kind of like a little bit of both and you know jimmy page wasn't the only one to do that Slash did it to his 58. Uh, the the guitarist for Kiss, his new signature Epiphone, it comes like this, so that's pretty cool. And what's cool is it's like a blue Seymour Duncan, and I th that looks pretty sweet. Like every time I look at it, I like it a little bit more. We'll play around on it a little bit. Now we can do another comparison test. So we've got uncovered pickups with 10 gauge strings, covered pickups with 9 gauge strings, even though it was a little microphonic. And then now we can do 9 gauge strings with the neck covered and the bridge uncovered. <laughs>
wrap up this little project video. So for a recap, this guitar started with zebra pickups and the smaller uh, Epiphone pickup rings. And then what I did was I added the pickup covers and then the taller pickup rings, but I added the bridge pickup a little bit wrong, so it ended up being a little microphonic. Also threw a pair of nines on here. I normally use tens, but the only pack of strings I had left was nines. See if string gauge really does change the tone that much. Same with pickup covers. It's very marginal differences, so. But then, since the bridge pickup ended up being a little microphonic with the cover on, I ended up taking the cover off. And now on top of me paying homage to one of my favorite guitarists ever. Now the guitar isn't microphonic anymore again, and it sounds amazing and looks amazing. And it's probably gonna stay looking exactly like this up until do the little upgrade mod video, which will be hip shot tuners and then Fishman pickups, but that's, that's a ways down the line for now. This is what she's gonna look like. So that's gonna wrap up today's little project mod video. I really hope you guys enjoy. If you guys did enjoy the video, let me know by leaving a like on it. It really does help. Leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions. Were you able to hear the little sound differences? Share the video around. And then of course, last but not least, if you enjoy the content that I put out, whether that be BMX, guitar, battle songs, whatever the hell else I'm doing, and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. It's not gonna hurt you in any way, shape, or form. It's gonna take less than a second, and it's just gonna make my heart feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And then make sure you hit the bell notification as well so you can be the first one to get notified whenever upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram at DendanBMX. I'm done being a tool, so that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.